as of date, there's no schematic for me to look at other than this photo telling me that this is the USB connect port. So I plugged this to my multimeter and I found out that the far left is the negative and the far right is the positive. So I'm just going to simply assume that this is going to be the standard um, layout. So negative, um, TX and RX and then positive. But I'm only going to solder the data transfer wires and power the board with the LiPo instead. I just simply snip the head of a uh, micro USB cable off and so now we have four wires. We're just gonna ignore the negative and then the positive. So we're gonna be focusing on the green and the white. So the green is going to be like the picture I referred earlier. It's, it's gonna be the D plus. So the data plus and then D minus. D minus will be the white one. So I never exactly solder with a camera in the way. So I'm gonna try my best. So is that good? Okay, looks good. So here it looks like after it's done, it's black, green, white, and red. I decided to solder on the negative and the positive since when I tried with the battery, it didn't work. So as you can see now, I'm just gonna show you up here. This is my device manager. I'm just gonna plug in the USB now, just down here. Plug it in. Wait for it. Boom. SDM2 virtual COM port. I'm also going to add this part because most likely you're connecting this board to the computer because you want to install Betaflight and tune it. So the diagram doesn't show you that there is actually a boot pad here, right there. So jump that. So once you have your pads um, jumped, simply choose SP Racing F3 Evo and then choose the latest firmware and also have no reboot sequence enabled as well as full chip erase. So just simply press load firmware and then press flash firmware. So once that's done, unplug the USB and remove the boot pads. Then just simply reconnect the USB into your computer again.